My friends, let's talk about smarter crypto investing today. If you've got $10,000 or less, what can you do to get started and actually get gains? Because almost every, the vast majority of people investing in crypto are actually losing. That's right, most people who've bought crypto have lost money. And I haven't. I've made hundreds of thousands, and I'm tired of seeing y'all get ripped off when really it's so easy. So I'm going to tell you about the top mistakes people make investing in crypto and give you a really simple system immediately. If you really want to do smarter crypto investing, here's the absolute easiest thing and easiest way you can possibly do it. Just DCA into Bitcoin. I know, that seems way too easy, right? I know your mind immediately wants to argue and be like, no, no, it can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. It's that easy. DCA into Bitcoin. And that's what I am mostly doing myself. That's the majority of my crypto investing is DCAing into Bitcoin. Why? Because the number one thing you need to think about when investing is preserving your capital. You see, I've talked to a lot of you all who've put your life savings into crypto. You spent a bunch of time and energy and then you've lost it. Now, I would argue if you had simply done nothing, if you had left that in the bank and spent your time with your family or at the gym taking care of your health, even sleeping, you'd have came out further ahead than all that work you did only to lose money in crypto. And this is where you need to know thyself. Because yes, some of you are advanced professional traders, but hardly any of you are that. Most of you are truck drivers, waiters, you are work at home business people, YouTubers, you uh, have a uh, business cleaning houses, you're a carpenter. Most of you are regular people. And if you are a regular person, you should be doing simple strategies. Now, you might wonder, well, Jerry, why is what you're telling me conflicting with what almost everybody else tells you? Because almost everybody else is primarily concerned about making money off of you. And almost all crypto education is created by people whose primary interest is making a profit. And that means you are a dollar sign. You are a view. You are a like. And... Uh, if I wanted to make money off of you, I would tell you to buy all these altcoins and use my exchange link. And uh, then, uh, you know, buy my course. I would get you into altcoins because that's where I can make money off of you. And that's why almost everybody is constantly pitching you altcoins. But I just did a video on my main Jerry Banfield crypto channel talking about really bitcoin was the first digital scarcity that was created bitcoin was the first like wow this is like digital gold you can and every other altcoin is just copying that every other altcoin copy has diluted collectively the value of all the rest of all the other altcoins but not bitcoin so to me most of you are going way wrong in crypto investing by spending a bunch of time and energy trying to do advanced strategies when you are not advanced. If you want to do like Joe Paris and Superman Crypto, they have unique situations that are generally not applicable to yours. When Joe started crypto investing, he lost $80,000. And that didn't matter because he still had tens of thousands of dollars in the bank and almost no expenses. And he learned from that and then made millions in crypto by uh, talking about a bunch of altcoins on YouTube and selling an online course. Now, most of you, the only part of that you would relate to is losing the money. Most of you would not be in a position to turn that loss into a win unless you get smarter when it comes to crypto investing. And it seems to me the longer most crypto investors are in the market, the more, I've been in nine years. And what I see is Bitcoin is still the best game in town. There's going to be a ton of money flow into Bitcoin from ETFs, from big like retirement funds, governments. Bitcoin is the only crypto that 
has a very high level of trust and true decentralization combined with outstanding marketing and brand recognition. Almost every other, if not every other altcoin is trying to catch Bitcoin. And in order to catch Bitcoin, they need a, mar they need a team to develop and market. And they, in order to fund that team, they need money, which makes it not really decentralized and really is just a company masquerading with a blockchain. So almost all of you have gotten ripped off in altcoins. And this is the number one thing you need to understand that if you are messing around in altcoins, the game is rigged heavily, heavily against you. Are you understanding that? The game is rigged heavily against you if you're messing around in altcoins. And if you're spending money trying to invest in crypto, you need to count the hours you're spending with the return you're getting. So if you're losing money, you're completely doing everything wrong. And that's why my suggestion is for most people to just dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Most millionaires build wealth by dollar cost averaging into assets that are low risk and have a good return potential, which often is things like stocks. But Bitcoin has way higher return potential, in my opinion, than most stocks. And it's immediately liquid. You can sell it at any time, unlike stocks, which can be difficult to transact. And unlike stocks, the rest of the world can't invest in stocks. It's hard for someone in Nigeria or Brazil to buy stocks in the USA, but they can buy Bitcoin. And that's what's really exciting about Bitcoin is this is a global thing that everybody can invest in. And it looks to me like Bitcoin will become the global reserve currency. So there's still a lot of you say to me, well, Jerry, there's no money to be made in Bitcoin. I'm too poor. I'm too poor to buy Bitcoin. That's what you all are telling me. I saw a post in my Discord server yesterday, which is available on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Jerry Banfield or in my link tree, which is in my bio. And the post said, Jerry, I've got less than $10,000. And uh, it doesn't make sense for me to buy Bitcoin because I'm not going to make much money there. And uh, my suggestion is that, well, at least you might not lose money in Bitcoin. If you'd bought Bitcoin at the very top, you'd only be down about 50% for now. And if you had just DCA'd in the whole time, you would almost definitely be up over any extended period of time. And uh, when uh, these Bitcoin ETFs get approved and after the halving happens, in a year or two, you easily could get a 3 to 10x just in Bitcoin from where it's at now. And if those multipliers are not good enough for you, if you want more money, then you need to focus on wealth building throughout the rest of your life. And what I see is most of you would be better off looking for ways to eat, cut your expenses immediately. If you want to build wealth, the easiest immediate action to take is to cut your expenses Stop spending so much money, and there's that's a whole nother topic. But focus intentionally on, I want to cut my expenses, and uh, on open-mindedness, like, I'll do whatever it takes to cut my expenses. If I need to move in with my mom and dad, if you want to build wealth, cut to having your own place, move in with your parents. Great way to build wealth. And if you're looking at altcoins as a way to make money faster than Bitcoin, you're going to actually make yourself poorer most of you are going to become more broke or stay broke because of messing with altcoins. Whereas if you, uh, and especially if you're putting a bunch of time and energy into trying to do all these things with altcoins, you need to calculate how much time you're putting in and how much money you're getting back in return. So let's say many of you are putting in 10, 20 hours a week into crypto. So let's say you're doing this like a part-time side hustle. You're making 20 hour, you're putting 20 hours a weekend, 80 hours a month, or a thousand hours a year. Now I want you to divide how much money you make versus the amount of hours you put in because dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin takes almost no time at all. Whereas if you put a thousand hours a year, you need to justify an hourly wage out of that. I'd say you'd need to make an absolute minimum of 20,000 in profit to justify those thousand hours.
And if you're not making an absolute minimum of 20,000 in uh, your time in crypto, if you're putting in 20 hours a week, you are wasting your time. You'd be better off just getting a side job or starting a business where you could actually make more money. And uh, what's even worse than that is what if one year you make 20,000, but another year you lose 20,000? Then you just took 2,000 hours of your time for $0 an hour. If you want to do smarter crypto investing, you first need to know thyself. Are you a uh, more advanced investor and trader than most? When I started out, I certainly was not, and it cost me thousands of dollars to learn that, and it took me years just to break even. And the only reason I've made hundreds of thousands in crypto is because I got was one of the first on crypto YouTube and I got into altcoin pump and dumps. And I ultimately quit YouTube after taking all the money I'd made. I got wrecked in taxes. And then I pissed all the money away anyway. I got sloppy on my business. And then guess what? I ended up in the worst financial position of my life just a year and a half after I'd made all that money in crypto. If instead I had simply dollar cost averaged into Bitcoin the entire time and focused on building a great business, teaching others online, I mean, I'd be, I'd have millions of dollars in Bitcoin today. If I'd held that Bitcoin before and not messed with all those altcoins, I was buying $50 a day in Bitcoin back when that got you well, back when you could pick a Bitcoin up for a, a whole Bitcoin up in a week, DCAing $50 a day. I imagine that the future is going to repeat itself again. And this is why, to me, smarter crypto investing for the vast majority of people, dollar cost average into Bitcoin, don't even worry about anything else. Don't even work, screw with altcoins. Don't even research Cut, cut that time, take that time back, cut expenses, and then focus on making more money with the skills you're really good at. Now, if the skills you're really good at include investing, then sure, you can mess with altcoins, but it's a dangerous game. And if you win sometimes and lose sometimes, you need to calculate how much money you're actually making, what kind of a return you're getting, and are you having fun and doing good for the world? Th what I notice with a lot of you is you're spending all this time and energy and even for those of you making money, if you're honest and you're not doing any good for the world, you're taking all this time and energy to try and just selfishly get some money for yourself and you're doing it at the expense of naive investors who are just throwing their money around and not paying attention. And even if you're smart enough to scrape them, what good are you doing to the world? What are you offering? How are you making this world a better place, sitting on an exchange, looking at hours and hours of all these charts on the computer, figuring out how to take money for yourself? I offer to you that you have something better you can do for the world than that. I have the capability to make thousands of dollars a month crypto trading. I choose not to do that because I have more I can offer to the world. I can help other people like you build massive amounts of wealth in your own life. I can help you avoid losing your life savings. I can help you feel empowered. I can help you feel inspired and make yourself a stronger person. Or I could sit and look at charts on an exchange and try and take your money because I'm smarter than you, or at least that's what I would say in my head, and because I'm more grown up and experienced at this than you might be. I mean, which of those daily activities, if we looked at all kinds of people doing one or the other around the world, would you rather have a bunch of people interested in helping others and building a better world full of wealthy people? Or would you rather have a bunch of people sitting on a computer all trying to screw each other on one of these crypto exchanges? It's important to think about this stuff because the things you do and put out there in the world are creating the world. I personally want a world full of wealthy educated, empowered people. And uh, I'm happy to take much less money. If I just wanted money, there's lots of things I could do to make a lot of money, but it re would require me to forget about you. To say, I don't care what happens to you, I just want money for myself. 
And that's what I'm no longer willing to do. So I invite you today to become a smarter crypto investor, to make sure you calculate both your time and your money and the emotions you put into crypto. And this is just me sharing my experience with what I've seen in nine years in crypto. You are a sovereign being. You, uh, the most important thing is to know thyself. And sure, maybe it makes sense for a tiny, tiny amount of people to play around in exchanges and charts, and maybe you are adding value by making things cheaper here or there. I don't know your unique situation, but what I can see is the vast majority of you would do much better DCAing into Bitcoin and completely forgetting about the rest of crypto. And uh, then those of you that that's not appropriate would do better to find one, two, maybe three altcoins that are truly way, way, way better than others and maybe put a small percentage into those and cut back on how much time you spend in crypto. And uh, almost nobody that does what I do wants to tell you this because what I'm telling you now means you don't need to watch my videos or anybody else's videos most days. I mean, you don't need to see what I'm saying every day to DCA into Bitcoin. And that's why most people are always trying. This is why doctors often don't give their patients books that show them how to do preventative health. But my uncle does. My uncle gives people a book called How Not to Die. And if you follow that book, you can prevent all. You can prevent, you can stop the progression of prevent and even in some cases reverse all of the top 10 causes of death. Now, if you're a doctor and you give your patients a book like that the first time and they follow it, they might not need to see you again. That might not be good for business. Same thing with crypto. If I give you information that's truly valuable, you might need you might not need to ever watch my videos again. That's I would rather you not need to watch my videos again and be a smarter crypto investor than to keep you constantly coming back for stuff you don't really need to see. So I, if this was helpful, and maybe you'll never need to watch one of my videos again. You'll just DCA into Bitcoin. And uh, I hope you enjoy that free time and make the world a better place. If you do want more, I got Jerry Banfield University on my Patreon. Being in a community of people with the same mindset is a very helpful thing you can do to improve your investing skills. We have all kinds in here from, you know, practically Bitcoin maxis to DGEN, you know, altcoins shorter and longers and leverage traders in here we got a a nice diverse group had three people join while i was sleeping last night which was cool and uh, you can dm me anytime in here and we'd love to have you in the community i post every time i make a trade and uh, i have two crypto channels i think you'll love and enjoy if you actually need to watch more i got reviews of individual cryptos here and then I have my main channel where I do bigger markets and general education. So thanks for watching to the end. And uh, <laughs> if you need more, I'm here. If not, go make the world a better place.